Here is how to make yourself stand out from a background so you can turn this into something really cool like this for social media using Canva for free. Let me show you how. Go to Canva and create a design for these dimensions. This is a standard video thumbnail size so now bring in your image. You can click upload to bring your own image or choose an image on Canva. You can drag it from the corners to fit it to the frame but there's an easier way to do it. Click on these three dots and say set image as background. It does it automatically using AI. Now we're going to bring a nice textured background as an overlay. So go to photos and then click on purple background or any color background. If you do not have Canva Pro, click on the filter icon and choose free and say apply filters now it will give you only free images on canva i'm gonna choose this one for the purpose of this example now i'm gonna drag it from the corners to fit it to my canvas size now in order to see the image that's underneath this all you have to do is click on transparency and then scale it down to your desired intensity Make sure there's a nice balance between the textured effect and the image underneath it. Once you're happy, click the padlock to lock that layer in. Now bring another copy of your image and then fit it to the frame. Now all you have to do is click on Canva's background remover. Go to edit image, click on background remover. Canva does this automatically in seconds. If you do not have Canva Pro, go to remove.bg. It does the same thing for free. And now all you have to do is make sure that you fit it to the original image. And now just move the sides to crop it to fit it to the frame. Alright, now let's add a really cool glow effect. Go to edit image and scroll down to shadows and click on glow. Now in order to change the color and the intensity, you're going to click on the filter on the glow. And now just change the color to whatever you like. I'm going to choose pink because it nicely blends with the background that I already chose. And then now play around with transparency, size, and the blur to get your desired effect. Once you're happy with how it looks, all you have to now do is click apply and then you're done. Now let's add some text to this very quickly. The fastest way to do it is click on styles. Canva gives you cool color and font combination. So if you're brand new to camera design, this is a great place to get inspiration. I'm going to click on font sets, see all. This will give you perfect font combinations that are free to use on Canva. I'm going to use the Poppins font combination because I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to drag it to where I want my font to appear on my design. If you want to change the size of your font, just select all and now drag it up or drag it down to scale it to your desired effect. Now let's update the text. So for this example, I'm just going to say Jennifer Schrader, digital creator. Okay. All right. Let's change the color to whatever color you like. I'm going to choose white, but if you have a hex code, you can just type in the hex code to match your brand color. And now let's add a cool effect. So select all and now go to effects and now you can put any kind of text effect you like i like the lift effect because it gives a nice subtle shadow to your text to give it that extra pop that you need now let's add a line to this go to elements and then click on lines and shapes click on the line that you like and now adjust it to your desired position and now just change it to whatever color you like and voila, this is the final effect and you can use this on your thumbnails, your social media, or even your landing pages. And now all you have to do is click share and download it and you're done. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to follow me for more.